climate change and insecurity remain the biggest challenge to food security in Nigeria. Numerous conflicts between farmers and herders in Africa's most populous nation amid changes in the weather patterns has affected production, leaving more than 25 million people facing hunger. Now farming contributed almost 20% of Nigeria's gross domestic product in the first quarter of 2023, which is lower than the output recorded in the first and last quarters of 2022. Experts, however, observe that government interventions will like the Anchor Borrowers Program haven't been properly targeted to yield the much desired result. And here's more details of that in this report. Maize and cassava farmer Jubril Ahmed is becoming increasingly frustrated as the weather forecast is dependable for his operations. Despite his efforts to boost production on his one hectare farmland, yields have been on the decline. We sprayed some minutes ago and now the rain is about to just come down and wash everything away. Torrential rains and the burden of insecurity have kept production low, causing him huge losses. And now Jubril is considering walking away from his business of over six years. Sometimes uh, we need to spray, but because of the rain falling at um, intervals or at times we do not expect, so we will not be able to spray, so we have a uh, problem of pests. And on the part of insecurity, we have uh, headsmen that sometimes come into the farm and their, uh, their heads just eat our uh, maize and all of that. In the beginning of 2023, the United Nations reported that 25 million Nigerians are at risk of food insecurity. Agriculture experts worry that erratic rain patterns have changed the planting schedules and that could deepen hunger amid a decline in agricultural outputs. The bottom line of all of this is there is a decrease in food production despite more effort from the farmers and insurance companies are way more careful when it comes to insuring farms, the loan companies, your financial institutions and all sees farming now as a major risk because there is a part of farming that they cannot control that is not uh, human dependent but rather nature dependent. Agriculture contributed almost 20% of Nigeria's GDP in the first quarter of 2023. That is lower than the output recorded in the first and last quarters of 2022. Experts say government interventions like the Anchor Borrowers Program haven't been properly targeted to yield the much desired results. The government is doing a lot, but the issue is it's a misguided help that is not providing real solution to the farmer's real problem. So we need to start looking at uh, government enabling farmers as opposed to government bring, giving handouts to farmers. Then, of course, we need to look at the technology that government gives us. To tackle food shortages driven by climate change and security crisis, agriculture experts are urging the Bola Tinubu-led government to focus on supporting more climate-smart agricultural systems and leveraging competence to enhance the agricultural strength of farmers across the various regions of the country. Kilichia Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.